My name is Nicola Illesko and I'm the head chef here at Under. And my ambition with this restaurant is to show to the rest of the world the variety of different kind of seafood that we have here in the southern part of Norway and to try to teach people more about things in the ocean that you can eat. The Under or Wonder Restaurant's 25 centimeter thick panorama windows open onto the wonders of the undersea world. In Lindesnes at Norway's southernmost tip, this slanted block juts into the water like a periscope aimed at the seabed. The Under is Europe's first underwater restaurant and the largest one on Earth. Step by step, the patrons descend into the underwater world. At sea level, they can stop at a small bar for an aperitif to steal their nerves before taking the last steps down into the restaurant proper. The guests enjoy the local haute cuisine while their eyes feast on a panorama of the flora and fauna of the North Sea. You get so inspired just looking out the window and so new ideas will just start popping up all the time. Uh, and just by looking out the window, we got inspired to do a dessert with seaweed because we saw how the seaweed was dancing in the waves. And by serving these ingredients, I hope that we can wake up some people to see that there is more in the ocean that most of the people know and use. My name is Kim Alvorsen. I'm a marine biologist um, trying to understand uh, what's going on in coastal waters. Now I'm working together with uh, the restaurant Under, and this, this place is unique because you actually you go from, the, from land and down in the deep and you can see, see there and, and observe everything uh, in a way that, that's not possible otherwise. It's a trip into another world, so that's, uh, that's something, uh, one of the few places in the world where you actually can make discoveries. I'm texting them all the time when I find something new or some seaweed or a shell. I'm texting them, what is this, what is that, can we eat it? This is my kitchen garden. I love being in nature and every time I go to work I don't have to drive 50 minutes to do something in nature. I can just stand here five minutes, forage some seaweed to go in the restaurant and start cooking with it. And then that's pretty amazing. This one is, has the taste of a uh, truffle. It is pretty cool, I think, to use uh, seaweed that has the same taste as truffle because I don't really want to use truffle since we don't have any truffle here in the southern part. I don't think anybody comes purely for the food here. I think it's for the, the whole experience that will draw people. I wouldn't value one more than the other. I would try to get a table at the window. <laughs> you know, if fish can recognize human faces, maybe they're looking more at us than we are looking at them. So I think that's quite curious to be there looking at you, eating their brothers. Uh, I think that uh, they hope uh, we'll not eat them as well. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> we don't want to tell people what they're going to eat when they come. It should be a surprise. Yeah. If you know what you're going to eat, then you have already said maybe in your head that, ah, oh, I don't like that. But if you just get it served and with the presentation, then you will be like, whoa, and taste it, and nah, it's nice and beautiful. The restaurant here is just as it is, mind-blowing, and the food should be just as mind-blowing as well. So, and right here, I have the chance to do the kind of cooking that I really love.